Tao, what is integrated sensing and communications? I'm hearing a lot about it. Why is it important? Why is it exciting? So this uh, integrated sensing communication is two part. One is uh, communication can have the sensing. Second one, sensing can have the communication. You can leverage existing infrastructure of the base station and the UE be able to create a new value for wireless system. Very interesting. Are there particular use cases that you can give us examples to bring this to life for our audience? Yeah. So in this uh, special demo we're showing here, so we're thinking of uh, by user sensing, we're able to determine the environmental information. Then we're able to generate a radio channel. Then we can help the both network and the device to save the energy. This is one of the applications for the sensing assisted communications. Wow. Really, really cool. Um, how does it actually work, though? Talk us through that in a little bit more detail, maybe step by step. OK. So to make this work, so we have a major two steps. So once you have a photo of an area, able to determine the majority of the material information in the environment by the computer vision. So then once the computer vision determines, for example, mm. there's a window in the beauty, then the next one will use a sensor mm. to determine what type of the window you have. Is it high penetration loss, medium penetration loss, or low penetration loss? With this information determined, then you can know your environment much better. They can generate channel, then help the communication systems. Wow. Is that, uh, what are we looking at over here, Tao? Is this an example of how this works? Yeah, this is the one, the first step. Use the image information with the computer vision to determine what the environmental looks like in, okay. the, in, the, in, the, in the environments you have. And can I manipulate this? Can I, can I use it to develop, uh, to, to, to drill down into what I want to use this for? This one can help you at one sec for the communication. Right. Because with this one, once you determine what the material, like the concrete, windows, then you can generate better radio channel by reducing ray tracing, for example. Right. Once we do the better channel modeling, then you can help the communication system mm. to be able to do better prediction. But I could also do manipulate, I can do what if? Yes, like an example of, you know, if I want to change things here in terms of what I've generated and say, okay, what, but what if uh, the physical model uh, was changed in these ways? Can I use, that, use this for that type of modeling? You can also change because there's a computer vision. You know, most of the environments don't change much, but there's always maybe moving car or people coming around. Mm. With those ones, you can do the regenerated uh, segmentation. Okay. Right, it's more dynamic. Yeah. Is that a big data download? Is it a, a big processing task, or it does it fairly easily? It's not that complicated. Yeah. Because many of the computer vision processing, we use well known techniques today already. Yeah. You know? Plus our, our own algorithm to better differential different type of the materials. Mm. Right? Yeah. Uh, I'm hearing a lot, a lot about uh, the low altitude economy. I don't know what that is. So, for example, today, there's a drone flying around. Yeah. Either deliver the food mm. or deliver the goods, like Amazon yeah, yeah, or yeah, China, yeah. Sure. deliver a lunchbox, you know. Yeah. So you need to monitor this drone when it's flying around. Traditional signal image processing may not be sufficient sometimes, mm. right? With this sensing, you can determine is it an authorized drone or unauthorized drone, where they are and they're tracking them. Yeah. You can know the safety, more safely operate this drone business. Well, that sounds pretty important. Would I combine that with some sort of three-dimensional GPS system? You can combine it. Always complementary to each other. All, all complementary, yeah. yeah. The GPS may not be work well when you have a high-rising unit. Yeah. But this sense it can work still well in those yeah. scenarios. So you need both? Yeah, I would say they will complement to each other. So in China, I know that you already have packages delivered by, uh, you know, by, by, by drone, and you also have... Uh, you know, autonomous vehicles going around and uh, robotics and automation and predictive analytics. It feels like China's about 10 years ahead of the rest of the world. Do you think that's accurate? I would say there's a more need there because mm. uh, deliver the goods and also avoid the traffic and also the deliver lunchbox, which is time critical for the yeah, people, right? Very. So I think the use case is pretty uh, useful yeah. to, uh, to help the uh, economy over yeah. there. 
Yeah, it's fantastic. Yeah. This is really cool. Yeah. This is all your own work. Yeah, this is our own work. Yes. It's fantastic. Right. Yeah, yeah thank congratulations. You. Thank you. Really appreciate it. Thank, thank you. you for giving us the tour, Tao. Right. Thank you so much. Thank okay. you.